it's it's uh, it is something I talk to people about. Oft- I end up getting to this point often with people. It's not the issue. Isn't the thank you so much? That's a, an example of a bigger issue. The bigger issue is running our ministries so that they align, so that there's you know everyone's on message. Everyone's saying the same thing. Every everything I do is actually um, consistent with the the principles, the, the concerns I've got. And the principles and concerns I've got are that people would learn to see that it's Jesus is Lord and it's uh, he's real and we're serving him. Uh, and so that's what I'm teaching. I want to get people to that place. I want to get people to see that what they do is for him. And, and so we need to then roll back into our practices, our language, all that we do and see, am I just bringing a cultural thing in at some points or am I being shaped by the Bible? And one of the things that I think is cultural is we feel like it's nice to say thank you. And so I recruit someone to, I don't know, help in the car park uh, and uh, help people come into church. And because I want to encourage people and everyone around me encourages each other by saying thank you, I go and grab them and say thank you for doing that. But right then I've undermined the message, which is they're not doing it for me. They're doing it for Jesus. So I'm trying to encourage people to see that it's all about Jesus, it's all serving Jesus. And then I go and say something which actually undermines the very message I'm preaching, teaching, wanting to model. So I want to try and make sure I strip all those things out that are inconsistent. It it is interesting in the book of Philippians that Paul receives gifts from the Philippian church, but he doesn't thank them. He, He actually makes a point of saying, I didn't really need it. You know, I can get by with... I've the secret of living in poverty and well off and and so I think what Paul demonstrates is his great concern isn't uh, the help that's given to him it's the evidence that they're growing in Christ that means they give the gift and so that's what he's thankful he's thankful to God for what's happening in their lives and so that orientates you there's Paul saying my dominant concern is that you get the gospel that you get what it is to follow Jesus and my whole language and orientation is shaped towards that and so that's what I'm trying to cultivate, we're trying to cultivate. So if I recruit someone to a ministry, then to thank them for it suggests they've helped me, which they have in some sense. But it's not about, I need help, senior minister, church planter, come and help me. Because then you actually build an orientation around you and not around us together serving Christ for the cause of the gospel. So what I seek to do, what we seek to do is trying to find ways of giving thanks to God for people, expressing appreciation about how exciting it is that they're grasping the things of Christ, uh, that they're on board with the the cause. Um, And when they have helped me, saying thank you. You know, if they babysit my kids, well, they've helped me say thank you. But if they've run EV, if they've run, we call it EV kids, if they've run Sunday school for church, then they haven't helped me, the senior minister, They've helped our ministry and the cause of the gospel. So I might thank them on behalf of their service to us as a church, but I certainly, as the minister, don't say, oh, thanks for helping me now. Undermine the whole thing. I I, I want everyone who serves in ministries in church life to see that um, it's not not Andrew Hurd's ministries, It's, it's Jesus and his work which I'm serving, we're all serving together by the power of the Spirit. And so I'm just one member of the body, albeit one who's got particular gifts to bring the teachings and so on, but I'm just one member of the body together with you, uh, seeking to stir us all up to serve Christ in building His church. And so for me to thank you is undermining that very conception I'm trying to create. So don't stop it. (laughs) Don't do it anymore. Yeah. Find other ways to express your gladness and your joy and your thankfulness to God. Find other ways to do it that are consistent with the message.